Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to be talking about ice erosion. Now, before we talk about specifically ice erosion, I first want to go over and review what erosion is. Now, erosion is the movement of particles that have been weathered or broken down. And in our last two videos discussing uh, water erosion and wind erosion, we have seen that over time, that this process of weathering, the breaking down, and erosion, the movement of those particles that have been broken down can go our hand in hand, and that can sometimes occur simultaneously. Uh, and this process of this surface and the changes of the earth are all in motion at once. And so through erosion has things such as water, wind, and ice moving these particles. And erosion can be gradual, it can be slow and over time, or it can be sudden, it can be very quick um, And how we do that. So how does ice erosion work? Now, when we talked about ice weathering in one of the previous videos, we kind of talked about glaciation. And glaciation, ice erosion are kind, kind of go hand in hand as well. So throughout Earth's history, many ice ages have occurred according to scientists. So the, how the, the surface of the Earth or how the te overall temperature of the Earth kind of fluctuates, fluctuates from time to time. And so during these colder periods, glaciers were common throughout and covered portions of the Earth. So as these glaciers moved through erosion, so erosion, remember, is that movement. So as these glaciers were moving throughout the land and glaciation, a type of ice weathering that we've talked about, U-shaped valleys were formed. And as these U-shaped valleys are formed, rivers and lakes from the melting of the ice can form. And we see over here in this picture on the left, we see that we have a U-shaped valley with a uh, river going through it. And one thing that we see, and this is through glaciation, ice weathering, that U-shaped valleys are formed. Now there are other types of valleys, V-shaped valleys and the such, but uh, through ice erosion and glaciation, ice, a type of ice weathering, this type of valley is formed. And so it can form sometimes um, rivers and uh, also waterfalls, or sometimes it can also create lakes. Now, lakes are an important one to acknowledge through ice erosion and glaciation. And we'll talk about some of the more famous lakes that have been formed through these, this process of glaciation and ice erosion. And of course here we can also see it's a little bit wider of a U, a little bit bigger of a U than we might write, but it does form that U-shaped valley. Now I quickly would talk about lakes and I quickly want to talk about the ice age and some of this ice erosion. Now for those friends who live in the United States or in Canada, one thing we may talk about are the Great Lakes. And there are five Great Lakes that have formed in the northern United States and the southern part of Canada through ice erosion. Now, if we see here, these five lakes are Lake Superior, Lake Michigan, Lake Huron, Lake Erie, and Lake Ontario. So, if we come to this picture on the right, we can kind of see these arrows. And these arrows are the movement of the ice and the glaciers as it gets colder. So this ice and these glaciers are moving and expanding. And what's happening is it's also kind of breaking apart and creating uh, this bigger wedges in ice. And as these... Um, Colder temperatures of Earth begin to get warmer, we can see that these lakes and these ice begins to recede 
you see how we barely see a little bit of the of the lakes right here but as we get closer 5,000 years uh, with fast forward 5,000 years the ice begins to recede and these lakes begin to form and as we continue to go the ice as the uh, overall overall um, flow of the Earth's temperature fluctuates, the ice begins to recede. The, this these lakes begin to form through ice erosion, and now we have these five beautiful lakes in the uh, northern part of the United States, southern part of Canada, that have been formed through ice erosion. And so in summary, erosion is the process of the movement of particles that have been weathered or broken down. Throughout history, uh, ice erosion has occurred over hundreds of thousands of years, mainly through the process of glaciation and glaciers throughout the several um, ice ages that have occurred in on Earth. Now, through the process of glaciation, which is a type of ice weathering, and also the movement of these glaciers and these ice, things such as U-shaped valleys and lakes, like such as the Great Lakes uh, in the northern part of the United States, southern part of Canada, and parts of Yosemite National Park, for example, um, are formed. So I hope this helps and I can't wait to see you guys in the next video. Bye everyone.